in this tutorial I'm going to show you the awesome new feature that we've added to create unique layouts using remote widgets and a new feature that we've added that's called sync widgets so over here you can see that we have arrows that are controlling a carousel we have some kind of background slider that's changing colors once you change the items and we have custom navigation buttons that control a carousel that's in a totally separate column now that's amazing you want to know how I did this let's get started To get started with our funky layout, what we're going to need to do is start installing some of the widgets that are going to be inside of our layout. For that, we're going to need Unlimited Elements for Elementor Pro version installed. And inside of the widget catalog, the first widget that I'm going to do is Carousel Widget. And over here we have one that's called Image Card Carousel. I'm going to click Install to install it on my Elementor website. And now we're going to install some remote controls. So I'm going to navigate to the Remote Control Widgets category inside over here. And I'm going to install the ones that I'm going to use. So let's go for Remote Arrows. I'm going to use the Remote Bullets. And I'm going to use the Remote item navigation so we got those three installed we got our carousel installed which is awesome and the last thing i'm going to connect into my awesome layout is a background widget so i'm going to go to background widgets over here in the menu and i'm going to install the background slider so click install and look how fast that is i mean that installation it's actually downloading it from the cloud and installing it on our website that's what makes unlimited elements so special because when you install the plugin it's not gonna bulk up your server with a lot of stuff that you don't need once we've jumped into a new page the first thing we're going to do is add two columns to our layout because our layout consists of two columns now the interesting thing about the remote widgets is that you can mix static content with dynamic moving content so i'm going to start off first of all with some static text over here a title and some text and the rest of this is going to be dynamic so this is our static part over here let's jump into the widgets pane and i'm going to search for image card carousel this is going to be our transitioning image, our Pepsi cans over here. So let's change the number of items to one. And go into layout. I'm going to turn off the arrows and the bullets. And I'm also going to turn off all the content over here. I want to leave only an image inside. Inside of the style tab, I'm going to jump into image. And I'm going to make my image... 600 let's say in 50 pixels high and over here in the image type we can select contain so it doesn't cut off any part of our pepsi can inside of the content i'm going to turn off autoplay and inside of the items we can delete the fourth item and start uploading our pepsi can so this is going to be the first one it's always good to give stuff a name so you can navigate easily and know what you're editing. Let's go for the next one. It's going to be Pepsi Diet. And the last one is going to be Pepsi Zero, which is the black one. So up to now we didn't do anything special we didn't connect any remote widgets let's just go into the style and in the item background i'm going to make it transparent so it's not black click update to save and the next part what i want to do actually is add some remote arrows so i'm going to search for the word remote and over here we have our remote arrows I'm going to add that over here now it's red because it's saying 
I can't find any widget in the same section that I can connect to. So the next part is going into the carousel over here. And inside of content, we have a new section called Connect Widget Settings. And over here, what we're going to do is say that you can connect to this. We're going to enable remote connection. So I'm going to turn that on. And now, if I check this in the front end, since right now I'm in the back end, it should allow us to navigate between the different Pepsi cans, which is really, really awesome. Let's check that out by clicking Preview. And there you go. It can work in the back end as well. You just need to save and refresh, and then it will show up and will work as it should. So there you go. Very awesome. Let's go into the column. And in vertical align, I'm going to align this into the middle. And let's go to the section part and make our height fit to screen. So just so we have like a full screen layout going on over here. Next part is I'm going to add the bullets. Now, because we enabled remote connection, this is going to be super easy. Let's just add a new column over here. I'm going to play around by clicking on the handles over here. And I can make my layout wider or uh, less wide if I need to. And again, I'm going to search for the word remote. This time I'm going to use the remote bullets. So let's just throw those inside over here and you can see this automatically connects. I mean, this time I didn't even need to refresh. And so it knows automatically there are three items. And let's go over here and layout and choose column. So they're one under the other. And let's choose a line center center just to center this inside of the column and inside uh, of the widget area over here. Awesome. Next thing I'm going to do inside of style, let's just make our bullet height, let's say 30 pixels and the active bullet, I'll make it 60 pixels just to get sort of an awesome funky layout, funky looking layout over here. Looking awesome. So we got that set up. We got our arrow set up. We got our bullet set up. Next part is I'm going to make some small can icons over here that will also control our Pepsi carousel over here. So again, we're going to search for the, ro the word remote and remote item navigation. And over here, we need to make a couple of adjustments. I'm going to turn on the image, turn off the inner icon, turn off the label, which is that one, two, three that you saw on top over here and turn off the title. I mean, you can leave those on, but in this case, I don't need them. Let's justify this to the start over here, just so it aligns to the beginning and jump into item navigation. And again, we can upload our images just so they fit inside of here. So let's go for the next image. Second one was the diet one. And the third one was zero. We got that set up. You can see it over here. It's almost working. What we need to do is also over here in remote item number, tell each one which slide it's going to open up. So for example, this one is number two. So it's going to open slide number two. And this one is number three. It's going to open up slide number three. And you can see that's already working. How awesome is that? I mean, that's pretty amazing. I don't know if you guys are new to Elementor or just getting started or advanced users, but it doesn't matter. That's awesome. I mean, doing stuff like that wasn't easy at all before. So let's go over here into our uh, item navigation and start fixing our item height, let's say, let's go for 80 pixels. And inside of the image section, I'm going to choose object fit instead of cover contain. So now we can see the whole can. Let's go back into the item, choose a transparent background because we don't need a background over here. 
and instead of rounded corners that I have over here I'm just going to change that to zero and you can see now we can see the can better now in our case I also don't think that in the active item we need a border so I'm just going to change that to none and that's it we're set up now you can see that uh, those that are, aren't selected have a opacity and this can be configured over here so you can see they have a 50% opacity and the active one has only 90% I'm going to push that up to 100% just so we can see that nicely so this is looking really awesome and the next part I'm going to do is a little bit of styling over here. Let's just make the words over here a little bit bigger, just so it looks nice. Can play around with that. And I think our layout is almost set up. We have a little bit of styling to do, and we want to connect also a background color that's going to switch depending on the exact slide that we're on. So the first slide is going to be blue, gray, and black. So Let's go into the section and inside of the style part we're going to jump into unlimited background and I'm going to select the background slider. So here it is and it seems to be working. It's automatically right now. It's not connected in any way to our layout over here. So what I'm going to do actually let's go into the settings and see what we have over here so first of all we're going to need to have three items the first item is going to be sort of a bluish color awesome the next one is going to be sort of a gray color I think that's good and the third one is going to be a black color okay so we got our three colors set up the next thing i'm going to do is turn off autoplay because i don't want that to be transitioning all the time i i, I don't like this blue so much let's make it a little bit darker okay great so we have our background slider with three colors by the way, you can also add an image over here. Right now I'm using only colors. If you do use a, a, an image, you will want to turn on show image over here inside of the settings. So we got our three, three slides and now we want them to sync with this Pepsi can. So if I go to the gray Pepsi can, the background will change to the second item to the gray background. So to do that, I'm going to go first of all inside of the Pepsi, connected widgets, and I'm going to turn on sync. Over here we can choose a sync group. So I'm not going to change the sync group. I'm going to leave it on as sync group one. And the same thing I'm going to do in my background. So let's go over here, enable sync, and it's on sync group one. Now, again, you're not going to be able to see this in the front end. You're going to need to save and go inside of the preview, refresh your preview, and there you go. Clicking on the navigation is changing our color of the background. Now that's some amazing stuff. Think what you can achieve with that. What kind of magical layouts you can make by using these features. And you can go crazy with creativity over here. So let's just go back and finish up the design. So I'm going to my arrows in the button. I'm going to make it transparent by moving the alpha channel. And inside of border, I'm going to do it white border. And in a different section, we have the button icon. I'm going to change that to white. So our arrows are set up. For the title, I'm just going to change the text to white. For the text over here, again, I'm going to change the text to white. So all of this is almost set up. Last thing, I'm going to into the bullets and let's just style the bullets a little bit. So we have our active bullet and our bu we have our bullet background in our active background. So bullet background, 
going to go for, let's say, a transparent white. And for the active one, I'm just going to choose white color. So I think that looks good. Another thing you can do is change the gap over here. So let's go into our content and go for gap, let's say 15 pixels. You can see that made the gap between them a little bit bigger. Last thing I'm going to do is just add a hover animation over here in the remote item navigation. And let's change this. I mean, you can go for anything you want. Let's go for a wobble bottom. I don't know even what that means, but cool. Looks awesome. Maybe we'll go for something a little bit more subtle. Let's say float. Oh, that's perfect, I would say. So there you go. Click update to save. And even inside of the editor, if I refresh the editor, I should be able to see also the background changing. So it's not working perfect yet, but if you need to check something, then you should check it by clicking the eye icon over here, preview, and then you can see. I think I'm going to play around with the width over here. So let's move our can a little bit, click update to save and make a final test on our live page refresh arrows item navigation bullets and you can even drag and drop i mean like swipe the uh, pepsi cans over here and that's going to be connected to everything you can see that once i do that and everything is changing the the active item over here is changing the bullets are changing everything is connected and synced and completely without any flaw so i want to thank you guys for joining today and if you want you can ask questions in the comments and i'll see you next time